If you're an entrepreneur and you hate the idea of selling in your business to get clients, this episode is for you. And I'm gonna show you exactly how you can do business without the sales pitch using your personal brand. What's up bosses? I'm Tarleen Raman Figueroa, your personal brand consultant at Boss Diplomat. And my job is to make you look so good you can't be ignored. So the first step is you being your own magnet. Your personal brand should act like a magnet that attracts these people who have these very specific problem. You're just like, I understand the problem you have because I used to experience the same thing. But in order to be a magnet, you need the trifactor, which is the know, like, and trust factor. If someone doesn't like you, but they trust you, I mean, you can know something and be liked, but if they don't trust you, they're not gonna trust you with your money. If they trust you and know you can do, but you're a big asshole, it's gonna be very difficult for them to say yes to you. It's gonna take them a really long time to say, you know what, forget about the personality. Yes, let me just let me just go with your process and the solution. The other part of having a magnetic personal brand is having consistency in your brand. On your website, on your social media, on your Instagram, are you showing up in the same way? If your brand color happen to be a certain type of blue but then on Instagram you have green or yellow or orange you're not gonna look like the same company and it's gonna cause doubt in their mind so the second part on how to sell without selling is engagement so we hear a lot of gurus talk about how you need to engage with the audience now what the heck does that actually mean when you're in front of the audience and you're saying your thing whether you're doing a short reel on youtube or you're in a large audience in person you want to be able to have like a one-to-one -one with people don't rely on them to come to you you have to go to them if somebody comments on something get into their dms and say, hi, thank you so much for commenting on my previous post. I really appreciate you being part of my community. Ask them about something that is relevant to your industry and start a dialogue. Number three, with selling without selling, is showing your value. This is the perfect opportunity for you to talk about your journey. Talk about yourself in first person. This is not a our, this is not a we situation. This is a I situation. So talk about it in first person. And this is where you can build content, 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 right? So the more you talk about the solutions that you bring, the problems that you had, your expertise in this from a client's point of view, the more you're going to start getting eyeballs to go, huh, I should pay attention to them. And I think they're, they're a really good fit for what I'm looking for right now. Let me save them for future reference. And also one word of advice, please be yourself. Like if you're someone who swears all the time, just do it, you know? Some people might appreciate that. The last part is consistency. Imagine this is a race and all your competitors are lined up right next to you. And you decided, ooh, I, I hear that bang, let me go. Everyone is running at the same pace at you, but eventually someone's going to slow down and eventually someone else is gonna slow down and eventually someone else is gonna slow down. You're tired, you're like, oh, I need water. Oh, my leg is cramping. Oh, the heat, oh, my heart. Oh, I'm so tired. But you just keep going and going and going because you're not looking backwards, you're looking forward. That is what consistency means. So my bonus tip is this, automation. Like there's a ton of AI tools that can automate your life for you and automate a lot of the marketing that you actually don't like doing. And this is some of the automations that I place for my clients in their personal brand. So the first thing is set up an email automation. So if you have Calendly to book meetings, make sure you have an email template ready before they even book. What to expect on the call, what they're gonna get out of this call, why you, maybe add a testimonial or two. Send them an automated email immediately to confirm the date, the time, the Zoom link so they don't chase you for it later. Ask them to get prepared for that call. So what are the problems they're experiencing? You know, if collect some information about them. What is their desired goal? What are the challenges? Get some basic information about them so that you are prepared for this call and you're helping your clients get into the mindset so that they are also ready to have this conversation with you. Subscribe, like my channel. I cannot wait to see you in my calendar. Slide into my DMs. I cannot wait to have a deeper dive in your personal brand. Latest bosses.